We talked about the NAND gate, I mean the AND gate, we talked about the OR gate, the NOT gate. Well, let's add to that list. NAND, NOR, exclusive OR, and we also got exclusive NOR, but we'll talk about them. NAND gate. If you listen, if you look at the spelling NAND, it really came from not AND. So it's an AND gate. And after you finish with it, you put a NOT at the end, complement. That's what a NAND gate. Picture-wise, this is what the NAND gate we draw them looking like. That's an AND. So let's see what the truth table for an AND gate. We have two inputs, A and B. That's a two input NAND gate. But once you see it applies to, it doesn't matter how many inputs. Let me find the A plus, eh, not A plus. Let me find what the AND value is, A and B is. And at the end, I'm gonna complement that to get the NAND. So, my choice is zero, zero. What is zero and zero? Zero, complement that, because there's a not at the end of that, you'll have what? One, zero or one, I mean zero and one. It's a zero, complement that, it's a one. One and zero. That's a zero, complement that, that's a one. One and one, that's a one, complement that, that's a zero. So this is the truth table for the NAND gate, which is the complement of AND. Watch the AND here, complement that. When it's zero, becomes one, zero becomes one, zero becomes one, one becomes zero. We also have the NOR gate. So NOR gate will look like this. It's an OR with the NOT at the end of it. An OR with the NOT at the end of it. And so this is A or B with the NOT over it. So again, this is A and B with the NOT over it. That's an AND gate. So let's look at the NOR gate. If you remember the OR gate, you get a value of one when any of them is one. That's the OR gate. So now complement that. What would you have? One, zero, zero, zero. And that's your NOR gate. Not OR. Take an OR gate and complement the result. De Morgan's theorem again says to us what? A and B complement, that's an AND gate, should equal A bar plus B bar. Boy, this is so important there, but people don't realize that. A or B not, that's equal to A not and it would be not. Again, what the first one is telling me an AND gate with A and B going to it, an AND is equal to an OR gate with both of these inputs are complemented. You complement both inputs. That little knot means complement them, the little circle. And this one says an OR gate
is equal to an AND gate with both of these inputs complemented. And again, if you do your homework on this, you will find you can get a NOT gate out of an OR and an AND. If you take an AND, an AND gate and you complement, I mean, uh, you attach, let's call this one, I don't know, A. You end up with a NOT. Watch it. When A is zero, let's take an AND gate. When you put a zero, that means both inputs are zero. A and B are zero. What is zero? NAND it with zero, that'll give me what? One. When one of these is one, that means both are one. When you have one, one, what are you gonna have? Zero, isn't that what the NOT gate is? You put a zero, you get a one. You put a one, you get a zero. The same thing, if you take a NOR gate, and you attach both inputs together. Notice that's a NOR gate. So when A is zero, that means both inputs are zero. What is zero? NOR zero. One, gives me a one. When it's one, what's one NOR one? Zero. So I can get a NOT, a not gate out of an AND, I can get a NOT gate out of what? NOR gate. So why is that important? What do I care? Let's take this expression. F of X, F of A, B, C <coughs> equals. I'm just making something up. Um, let's put it this way. The summation of min terms. You give me some numbers. Where do you want it to be one? Go ahead. Where? Five, what else? Seven. seven, what else? Anything else? Nine. It can't be. Three inputs. Maximum is seven. Uh, two. two. Anything else? You want a zero? Sure. I'm just making that up. So here's A, B, C, zero, zero, zero. You should have a one. 0, 0, 1, 1, it's a 0. 0, 1, 0, that's a 2, that should be a 1. 0, 1, 1, that's a 3, that's a 0. 1, 0, 0, that's a 4, that's a 0. 1, 0, 1, that's a 5, that's a 1. 1, 1, 0, that's a 6, that's 0. 1, 1, 1, that's a 7, that's a 1. So I have four ones. It says here I should have four ones at zero, at two, at five, and seven. So if I write the expression for f, for the zero is going to be what? A bar, B bar, C bar. For the two, that will be what? A bar, B, C bar. For the four, not the four, the five, right? A, B bar, C. And for the seven, A, B, C. If I said, I want you to design this using uh, NAND gates only. Design using NAND gates only. I will, yep. So we're going to use NAND gates. That's it. You want to simplify this? Let's go ahead and simplify it. Look at the first two. If you can simplify it, why not? And you can look at the last two. The first two, what do they have in common? A bar, C bar. So what's left? B bar plus B. What's B bar plus B? One. That's what that piece is. 
plus, let's look at this. I can factor what? AC. Now, what's left? B bar plus B. B bar plus B, which is what? 1. So if I go to design that, this is what I have. I have A going through a NOT gate, C going through a NOT gate. Both of these are what? And it together. At the end, they're going to be ORed with another gate that has what? I thought we were using NAND gates. Well, correct. I said design using NAND gates. So are these NAND gates? No. How do we turn these to NAND gates? How do we make them NAND? That's where De Morgan's theorem comes in handy. That's where that theorem is big. Now, if you double complement something, if you double complement, does it change the value of that? No, double complement does nothing. So let me double complement this. This is one complement here. Can you see that bubble there, the circle? And there's another bubble. That's a double complement. I'm putting two not gates <coughs> in, basically. That's what I'm doing. I'm putting two not gate. And I'm doing two not gates right here. So what do you see here now? Isn't that a NAND gate? Yep. So here's my circuit now. I need a NOT gate. If I don't have a NOT gate, I can make a NOT gate out of a NAND gate. That's A. That's C. Go into what? A NAND gate. There's A and C both going into a NAND gate. Now, what is a NOR gate with both inputs complemented? What is De Morgan's theorem? What's a NOR gate with both inputs going to it complemented equal to? Is that a NAND gate? So now, this is really a NAND gate. So just think about this. If I didn't have one of these, let's say I didn't need the C bar or A bar here. If I didn't have one of these, right now I will need three chips on the board. I need the NOT, the NAND, and this one. Or before, the NOT, the AND, and the ORs. By going to NAND, if I didn't have this one, they come four on a chip. One, two, three, four. I could have done the whole thing with one single chip if one of these was not a complement. Now I, I need an extra chip for the extra NAND here, or unless I find the NOT gate. If we have a chip that does not, which is fine, you can take that. You still need two for AND, one for OR. And this one says only need one chip of NAND gates instead of two. How about the same promise is designed using NOR gates only? Same problem. By the way, we do have a chip that gives you all of this on one single chip. And that's exclusive NOR. I'll mention that in a minute there. I have one chip, one gate, I mean, that has something called exclusive NOR. But let's take the same problem and now go design using NOR gates only. NOR gates. Now, let's see when this function is going to be zero, because that means I need OR gates and put a NOT at the end to make the NOR, so I need OR gates. 
So I should be thinking about grouping what? The zeros, not the ones. This one is what? A plus B plus C bar. That's this one. This one here, A plus B bar plus C bar. And the last one, A bar plus what? B plus, or B bar, is it B bar? No, plus B plus C. <coughs> Is there another one? Oh yes, thank you. And the last one is what? A bar plus B bar plus C. And again, I probably will simplify them, not probably, I will definitely simplify them. Look at the first two. And look at these two. These two here, I can factor what? A plus C bar? Okay, that's, I mean, that's the same for both of them. So you have B plus B bar. So when you factor, when, well, not factor, but when you rewrite that, you can break it down to A plus C bar plus B. A plus C bar plus B bar. A plus C bar is actually X, X, plus y, x plus y bar. We said the answer to that is what? x. So this group here, the first group, should simplify to what? a plus c bar. What do you think the second group is going to simplify to? A bar yep, a bar plus c. Well, you can distribute that and do the algebra if you want, but you lose the sum of product. I mean, product of sum. This is the product of sum. And I want it to be in that format because I want an OR gate so I can make it an OR. So right now I have an OR gate with one input being A, the other one C going through a NOT gate. The other OR gate one input is A going through a NOT gate, and the other one is C. The two of them are what? And them together. Again, they're saying not to use OR or AND. They want us to use what? NOR. So what do we do now? Double complement each one of these lines. So if you double complement that, I'll have this one. This is the A. This is the C. And again, I'll use a NOR gate to make it a NOT gate. So that's my NOT. I have an A, I gotta take another gate, an OR gate and make a knot out of it. C, that's my knot. And that's another NOR gate. Why is that a NOR gate? Again, back to De Morgan's theorem. Morgan theorem says, where is it? An AND gate, AND, with the inputs going to it being complemented, that's the same what? As a NOR gate. See that? And again, the NOT gate is also a NOR gate. So I'm using all NOR gates for all of them. Here? Yeah. That's an OR gate here. Yeah, That's an OR gate. Okay, is that like an AND and an NOR? Uh, Which one? This one? No, the box that means both, because this is a two input. <coughs> two input, 
nor, uh, nor gate, so you take the two inputs, you tie them together, and you attach the line to them. Okay. Another way of saying attach C to both inputs, that's what that means. Okay. So when you see me draw that picture, actually there, when you see me do this, that's equivalent to saying attach, let's call this one, what was it, A, A and A here? That's going A going to this and A going to that. It's going to both inputs. That's what that means. You attach it to both inputs. The way I drew that, I just connect these two lines together and connect them to A. Whatever you put on A is going to go to both of them. If, you know, it's the same thing as this. Yep. Well, this is a NOR gate. So it's an OR with the NOT. So A OR A is A. When you complement that, is A NOT. So A OR A, that gives you an A. Then you feed it through the NOT gate, and the NOT gate will make it what? A NOT. This one, if it's uh, an AND, that's an AND now. I make that an AND. Same thing, that means the same thing as this. I know A and A is what? A, and when you complement that, that's because the NAND here, that'll give you the A naught. Thank you, I was just trying to work through the line. So that's how you make the NOT gate out of the NAND in OR. As I mentioned, there's also a gate called exclusive OR, an exclusive NOR. And those are available on the market. You can buy them. What an exclusive OR will look like, or the inside of it, or how it works there. If you take, it's an OR gate. But exclusive OR. So our book probably going to put a plus sign with the circle around it. Let me just take a peek and see if that's what they use. That's what most books will use. Yes. That's exclusive OR. A exclusive OR. It's not OR. So what's the exclusive OR works? How, how does it work? If you have A and B, and you want your result, A exclusive OR B. When both of these guys are the same, the result is zero. When one of them is one, the result is one. So basically what that is, if you look at the inside of it, the expression for it, it's A naught B. I'm not sure why the A is lowercase and the B is capital. Plus A B naught. So that's equivalent to having two AND gates, actually like this. That's what the exclusive OR looks like. This is all of this is the inside of that gate. But you can go to the store, buy them. So anytime you want A not B plus A B not, go, oh, that's exclusive OR. Just get a gate, XOR. That's exclusive OR, XOR. XOR, and that's your chip. When A is zero, B is one, or when A is one, B is zero, you have a one. Now, that's an XOR, so we call that XOR. The XNOR is the XOR with the complement.
and that is basically the result, the opposite to this. You complement this one. So you have A, B, and X or exclusive or complement. Remember, the exclusive or, when it's 0, 0, what do you have? 0, you complement that, that would be a 1. X or, when one of them is 1, what do you have? A 1, but you only complement that, that's what? A 0. 1 and 0 is 0. And 1 and 1 is 1. Bless you. So you get a 1 when both inputs are the same, you get a 1. When they're different, you get a zero. X or, when the inputs are the same, you get a zero. When they're different, you get a one. Yes? No, it's an and with an or, see a combination of both. See, that's what the inside. So what this one looks like, if you open the inside of it, you have really two and gates. These are a knot here. That's what the inside of that. When they're both the same, notice when they're both zeros, this guy is one, and this will be zero. One or zero, you get a one. When they're both one, that's an AND gate. When they're both one, that's a one. One or zero, that's a, a one. When one is one, one is zero. This is zero, that's zero. When you order them, that's a zero. So this one, basically, it's A bar, B bar, the expression for it, plus A, B. When they're both zeros or they're both ones, you have a one. And that just looks like an um, XOR with a... Well, it's not the complement of that, a little bit different, uh, okay. you know. It's like you're doing the opposite, the complement of the result. So what does it look like in a um, chip? What do you mean, the chip? That's actually what the inside is, a combination of these. So now, it is the complement of this one. When this is zero, you have a one. When it's one, so if you want to think about like putting a knot here, yeah. I don't know if that's what you were thinking. If you put a knot on this, that's what you're going to have. Okay. Yeah. But these gates are available for us. We can actually grab them and use them. Uh, I don't think I bought any of XOR or XNOR gates. I don't think I have them in the lab. That doesn't mean they're not there. I just didn't buy them when I was buying my supplies. The way they draw, and some books, by the way, the way they draw the X or, they use that for plus, and I've seen a lot of people draw the X or, the X or, it's an OR gate, but they use two lines like this. That's an X or, instead of doing that. And when they write that, they go A, X or, B. And the NOR, Exclusive nor, I've seen a lot of books do it this way. So this is X or with the not, this is the X or. That's more common than doing it that way, but I've seen some books putting a plus sign with the circle. They write always with the plus with the circle, but this is how most digital books will use. It's two lines here. One is attached to this, the other one like a space between them. That's your XOR. So for example, if you are given this circuit, I'll just, and I wanna get the expression for it, oh, I mean, I'm making things up here. I 
And I said, can, can you give me the expression for F? This is an XOR. An XOR, you'll have a value of one when what? One is zero and the other one is one. So this is really A naught B plus A B naught. When one is zero and one is one, you have a value of one. So it could be this one zero and this one one, or this could be one zero and that's one. Now what are you gonna do with this when you get to this gate? You're gonna multiply them. So right here you have C times A naught B plus A B naught. And what about this one right here? What do we have? A plus what? B naught. And this gate says to do what with them? Let's add them together, right? So that would be A plus B naught plus C times A naught B plus A B naught. Time flies when you're having fun. I'll do another circuit here and see if you can come up with the expression for it. Put an end. I decided to do a lot of nands and nors here. Let's say I have this circuit. What kind of a gate is this? That's an end. So here is what? X, Y with the knot over it. It's an end with the knot over it. Now I can use De Morgan's theorem to simplify that. If you want, just go, well, that's also equal to what? X bar plus Y bar. So really up to you which one to use, but it's the same thing. It's De Morgan's theorem. This one here, what do we have here? <coughs> that's an OR, so that's W plus X with the line over it. And if you want to use De Morgan's theorem, that's what? W bar, X bar. This one is what? The product of these. So here we go. I'll use the first one. Oh, like I'll use this one. That's the, I'm going to use this. I'm going to use that one. This one times w plus x bar and I'm gonna complement that
it's this piece and it with this piece, then complement that. That's with the knot. Now I'm going to use De Morgan's theorem here. I have a multiplication. I treat them as this one times that one. So it's going to be the first one, which is what? XY double bar. The multiplication becomes what? Addition W plus X bar complement that. It's a double complement. When you double complement something, it's gone. Double complement this is what? Do I need the parentheses? Not really. I can actually simplify that, right? Now, if you simplify that, what's x plus xy? Just x. Because it'd be 1 plus y, which is a 1. That's x plus w. x plus xy is just x if you factor an x out. So this is just the answer to that piece. I didn't get to this one yet. So here's the answer to this one right here. That answer, x plus w. Let's look at this. What's the answer here? It's wx with the knot over it. So now the answer right here, which is, I don't know what you want to call it, f. So what's f equal to? It's this one over it with this. So here we go. wx, that's this piece, over it with what? W plus X or X plus W and put a knot over it. I can use De Morgan's theorem and that will make it WX with double bar times W plus X with the bar. What's WX with double bar? Don't you need to switch something? Switch. That's that's the plus becomes a multiplication. Oh, okay. A plus B. It's A bar plus I mean times B bar. Oh, okay. So I'm complementing this as the A bar and I'm complementing this as the B bar. Now I'll use the Morgan's theorem one more time here. You have X plus W plus X. With the bar over it, you can break it down to what? W bar, X bar. And what do you know? What do we have? W, W bar, X, X bar. Yes, it is a zero. Doesn't matter what you put there, the result is zero, always. Because that's an AND gate. If W is one, what's W bar? Zero. If W is zero, what's W bar? One, one way or another is going to be a zero there. So the expression for this is really zero, never be on. I mean, I didn't plan for it, I just threw something. But that's how you tackle these problems.